You are listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. The man President Clinton named in a White House memo is the most dangerous radio host in America. And by golly, he's right. Because I'm just about the only one that tells the truth, documents it, sources it, and puts it out there where you can find out about it. Where you can go check it for yourself, dig up the documentation and find out that it's true. You don't hear a rumor on the hour of the time. You don't hear lies, ladies and gentlemen. And there's nobody here sitting on half their brain talking about trivial things that don't mean diddly squat to anybody except for entertainment. Tonight, we're going to have open phones. We're going to talk about a lot of things. What I want to talk about is What's the latest baloney going around in your neighborhood? Because there's an awful lot of it out there. I'm going to clear up some myths, some lies, some deceptions. I'm going to tell you the truth about those things. Even right here in this town, I hear people passing these things around. It is amazing. It's as if Americans have lost their ability to reason. The last vestige of common sense. I don't know... Too many people, I do know some, but I do not know too many people who have had an original thought in years. Don't go away, I'll be right back. And for those of you who might want to call in, the number is 520-333-4578. That's the same number for my office, and it's the same number for my fax. 520-333-4578. These are perilous times that we live in, ladies and gentlemen, when a political entity can murder a church full of people in Waco, Texas, using tanks, armored personnel carriers, psychological warfare units, helicopters, machine guns, CS gas, just to name a few. When they can murder a woman standing in her doorway when a sniper can shoot her in the head while she is standing in a doorway holding her baby to her breast. Not wanted for anything, never committed any crime. Can you imagine? Where doors are broken down, people are rousted out of bed in the middle of the night with no search warrant, their homes are torn to pieces, come to find out it was the wrong house, no apology, no money to repair the damage that they did, Nazi jackbooted thugs, stomp puppies and kittens to death in front of their owners. These are not exaggerations. But amongst the truths, there are also a spate of rumors, disinformation, lies, if you will, designed to be thrown out so that whoever picks them up and carries them will be discredited. That's a fact. Just recently, on a shortwave radio broadcast, it was announced that in the state of Michigan, the New World Order troops were going door-to-door -door confiscating weapons from the citizens. It was a lie. It was a lie. There's a woman who recently wrote a book called Transformation of America. I would venture to say that about 500 fools spent good money for it. She claims she was the sex slave in the White House of every president since Nixon. <laughs> I just absolutely <laughs> croak over some of these things. They are hilarious. <laughs> there was a film recently of a supposed autopsy of an alien body. 
One uh, doctor I showed it to, a specialist in childhood diseases, was almost struck dumb as he recognized the body of a shaved hydroencephalic female child. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Isn't it absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen? Then people point to the six fingers and six toes as if that's unusual. It's not at all. Children born with one genetic defect are very likely to have several more. And six fingers and six toes are not unusual. In fact, it's fairly common. Most are removed at or shortly after birth so as not to cause any social difficulties for the child during the growing up stages. There are things going on and talk being spread that defies any kind of intelligent examination logic or as my grandmother used to say it just won't pass the common sense test most of it you can hear on a nationally syndicated radio broadcast that lasts almost all night called the Art Bell Show If you listen, if you stay up all night and listen to the Art Bell Show, you'll hear more bullshit, lies, disinformation, rumor, and silly woo-woo la-la land stuff than you will anywhere else in the world. It has become obvious that Art Bell is a shill for the New World Order. Keep you spinning your wheels chasing myths spinning around in eddies these little whirlpools by the side of the stream while the world passes you by I'd like to get some calls and hear what you've heard recently that fits into this category or if you've heard something recently that you're not sure of Call in and we'll talk about it. Maybe we can get to the root of it and find out what's true and what's not. I think it's important that we do these things to prevent people from falling into these traps. Whoever picks these things up and echoes them is soon discredited. Entire, <laughs> entire movements have been destroyed by this method. Good evening. You're on the air. I'm calling. Could you say that again? We missed you it. You're from Wyoming. And what's your name? Gary Fields. Oh, you don't have to say your last name, Gary, but uh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, up here in Wyoming, uh, I've just got my satellite going and listening to you on it tonight. And you hear these reports about troops up in Canada, down in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you know about you know, is that mostly BS, or is there some truth to it? No, it's 100% BS. It's not true at all. There is no army of North Koreans, or Communist Chinese, or Russians, or, or any of those uh, massed along the border of Canada or Mexico waiting to invade the United States. Okay. Because on some of the other satellite feeds, I've heard these rumors and things like that, and to me it seems like it's designed to incite people to get upset you know, rise up, start hollering and things, and... Uh, and make you look like an idiot. Make you look like an idiot. To discredit you, to discredit your movement, to discredit uh, uh, what you believe in, to discredit the militias. Now, you said on your broadcast night you will cover some of the things that would be true then, that are going on out there, or... No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I, said, I said I want to talk about the things that are not true. That are not true. Okay. So, that, so that we can dispel these rumors and get them out of the way. You'll notice that all these people who say these things never offer any proof, never offer any documentation. 
never can prove what they say. It's just blather, so much blather. One of the biggest uh, uh, proponents of this kind of crap is Mark Cornkey and his so-called intelligence report. Yeah. You know, when you, you listen to these things, you know, well, I've got a friend who has to remain unnamed. <laughs> or uh, I heard, you know, uh, very few people seem to have any documentary evidence. You know, a video that, you know, they can show you actual troops out there massed on the border. Uh, you know, that stuff's non-existent. That's right. It's non-existent because there are no troops massed upon the border. If there were, don't you think the Canadians would be raising hell? What about the Mexicans? The 